Imagine this. You're miles away from your PC, trying to connect through remote desktop. But there's a problem. Port 3389 is wide open, and somewhere out there, bots are knocking on it every second. Today, at Bahaskara Labs, I'll show you how to hide that door completely using a custom port, port proxy, and firewall rules, while still keeping RDP working. Exposing 3389 is like leaving your front door unlocked in a bad neighborhood. To prove it, let's check from another machine. Telnet Your IP 3389. If it connects, congratulations, you're exposed. Let's fix that. First, clear the command and ensure you open the PowerShell as administrator. We'll need full control to make these changes. Now, create a hidden path for RDP using port proxy. This means anyone connecting to port 34567 gets silently forwarded to 3389. But from the outside, they'll never see 3389 at all. Verify it's in place. If you see 34567 listed, the tunnel is live. Let's allow our secret port 34567 in the firewall. Status OK. The firewall now opens this single hidden doorway while every other path stays locked tight. But there's still one problem. The old door, port 3389, is wide open. We're going to close it manually, straight from the Windows Defender Firewall dashboard. We open the firewall settings, navigate to Inbound Rules, find Remote Desktop User Mode TCP In, and disable it. The moment you click Disable, you'll be disconnected from your current RDP session. That's your confirmation. Port 3389 is officially dead. From now on, the only way back in is through your hidden port. For clarity, let's check the ports. Telnet Your IP 3389 No response. Telnet your IP 34567. Connection successful. Now let's try logging in with our hidden port. In the remote desktop client, we enter your IP colon 34567. The connection opens. And just like that, we're back in, but this time through a port that only we know exists. And that's it. Your remote desktop is now hidden behind a secret port, safe from random scans and brute force attacks. Port 3389 is closed, invisible to the outside world. Only your custom port, the one you set, can let you in. Remember, security isn't just about strong passwords, it's about reducing your attack surface. Hide what you don't need, protect what you do, and stay one step ahead. If you found this guide useful, don't forget to subscribe to Bogoskara Labs for more practical cybersecurity tutorials. Stay safe and see you in the next video.